Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna program my Arduino Nano PLC with Arduino IDE. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. This is my Arduino Nano PLC, which I have made in my previous video. We were programming this PLC with OpenPLC software. Now we will program this PLC with Arduino IDE. To make the programming easy, I have made some functions. This is our PLC. It has four inputs X1, X2, X3 and X4 and it has four outputs y1 y2 y3 and y4 let's make a simple program so this is the template i've made just open it up and save as with a new name first we write start command like this and then we read the status of input x1 by the read command and set this value to contact a1. Every output, every output command has 8 contacts from a to 1. Like this. So this is the letter logic representation of the output command. Then we write out command for output y1. The letter representation of the program is this. Now let's upload this program to the PLC and test it. So as you can see, it is working as we want. In the next example, we take the negative value of input x1 with the command read n and set this value to output y1. The letter representation of the program is this. Now let's upload this program to the PLC and test it. So as you can see, the output is on and when we press the button, the output is off. So it is taking the inverted value of x1 and give it to the output y. Now let's make a set reset latch. For this program, we use or logic and and logic. For this example, we add the negative value of x2 and the value of y1, then or the result with x1 and set the result to output y1. The letter representation of the program is this. Now let's upload this program to the PLC and test it. So as you can see, we have made a set reset latch with this simple program and it is working as expected. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.